Hey guys, um, allow me to introduce myself. I am Michelle, aka Prince Thespian or Misha, as a lot of you call me. I am making this video because I wanted to thank you all for sticking with Lynx Malfoy until the very end. This video consists of a couple of things. Point number one. Point number one is um, Lynx Malfoy wouldn't have gone this far if it weren't for each and every one of you reading the story. Lynx Malfoy wasn't really gonna go on unless people commented or voted because I didn't want to waste my time writing. And so um, writing Lynx Malfoy was really special to me because it, a lot of people appreciated my works and a lot of people kept saying nice comments about it being great. So that really made me happy. Point two. Lynx Malfoy wasn't going to be a George, George Weasley love story, but it ended up being one. I don't know how it ended up being one. I just, when I first thought of Lynx Malfoy, I didn't think of George being with her, but I guess it was. I don't know, I thought it was pretty funny how I was looking back to how I got the idea and I said, how, how did she end up with George? So I wanted something new, so I added in Steph or Stefan, which a lot of you guys didn't like. There was one little time in my life where I was going to put links with Stefan, but <laughs> since a lot of you guys are Jinx fans, um, I just, yeah, I didn't put links with Stefan. Point number two. Secrets of Lynx Malfoy. I was never, ever, ever in my, in the story of Lynx, gonna put Stefan and Lynx together at the end. I always had the ending that Lynx and George were going to platform nine and three quarters together with three children, Fred, Ember, and Roxanne. Yep. So you can say I was a Jinx fan myself, but I was also Leffen or I don't, I don't, this is not my favorite one, but Stinks. Really you guys, Stinks. Whatever. <laughs> it just made me happy. Another secret was I was planning on killing Stefan. I was planning on killing Stefan because I couldn't think of another way to separate them. But then I thought of the dad thing, so I was like, no, I'm not going to kill him. But before I thought of the dad thing, I was thinking of killing him, erasing his memory, or getting Stefan the kiss of the Dementor. Point number three, Lyra. I wasn't planning on creating Lyra, but I was ruling writer's block, like, and I said, why not make Lyra have a little sister? So I created Lyra, and it went pretty well. Point number four. My cliffhangers. I know you guys are such a big fan of my cliffhangers. Do you guys like the way I ended it? Yes, that was Stefan's son with Lynx's daughter. Mm. Will they be part of each other? Will they be together? Mm. I don't know. You guys tell me. <laughs> but I thought of it, I was like, yes, it's good good way to end the story. So I'd end it like that. I'm sure you guys are pleased with it. Going back to Lyra and Roxy. I already have a plot line for Lyra. Yes. But I sort of not really have a plot line for Roxy. It is your decision if you want Lyra's story or Roxy's story. I will only do one because I already have Echo the Strange and Mudblood and Sizzling. I will talk about that later. Lyra and Roxy. Which one do you guys want more? Lyra is more adventure and a, and a more like exciting, I guess, plotline, but Roxy has more of a aww, love line. You know, love story. Do you want more adventure? Well, of course it has love story, but not as much as uh, Roxy. 
and I will only do one because again I have Echo and my Blood and Slytherin. Now since Link's Malfoy is done, a Mudblood and Slytherin will be my first priority to finish because it was my second story and Echo the Strange will be uploaded not as constant as a Mudblood and Slytherin and either Lyra's story or Roxy's story will be last to be uploaded because it's the third story, well now fourth. I still can't believe Link's Malfoy is done. Like, it still boggles my mind. I actually cried when I finished. Mm-hmm. I cried a lot. Well, not a lot. I just, I was really sad for a while. A Mudblood and Susan is just going to be her fifth year and the summer. It's not going to continue on after. It's not going to continue her sixth year and her seventh year because I have no idea what she's going to do after that. So I'm just going to end it um, when her sixth year starts. That's heads up. That's a spoiler alert, sort of. Echo the Strange. It's sort of gonna be the length of Link's Malfoy, but probably shorter. Actually, no, a lot shorter, because um, I have an epic plotline for her, and it's gonna be exciting to write. And I hope you guys like reading it. Another uh, secret or whatever. There are gonna be surprise chapters of Link's Malfoy, meaning that. There are going to be backstories on some of the minor characters and some flashbacks. So maybe next month or a week from now or, f or tomorrow, there's going to be like surprise chapters in Link's Malfoy telling you about an undesirable, maybe Janice, clerics, um, Marcus. Maybe I'll add in George and Link's wedding or, you know, Draco's and Cleric's wedding or someone's funeral or just stories that just pop into my head I'll just write and be like oh here's a, a surprise chapter for you guys so yeah watch out for those that's all I have to say for now yay give yourself a round of applause for finishing Link's Malfoy because it's a really long story and it's really confusing. Sometimes it's really confusing. Sometimes it's like, wow, why did you write that? Thank you guys so much. Uh, bless your face. If you sneeze during the watching of this video, bless you. Michelle out. <laughs>